Hi everyone, so today's um, video will be on the NYC new makeup like the Demi line and the Get It All makeup and other stuff so if you want to see uh, what I think of this product, just keep on watching First we'll start off with the eyeliners um, First you have the new NYC, well this is not eyeliner I still start with it because it's a nice uh, product um, NYC Showtime Lash and Brow Clear Mascara for lashes and brows. Grooms lashes, groom lashes and brows uh, with Pro Vitamin. Um, Showtime Lash and Brow Clear Mascara grooms lashes and eyebrows and contains Pro Vitamins. Apply directly to the eyelashes, sweeping, swiping from root to tip. Comb over eyebrows following their natural shape and hair growth direction. Flake proof, smudge proof, for suitable for sensitive eyes, and blah blah blah. So mine looks a little bit dirty. I love this, and at first I really hesit hesitated on buying this because I thought a eyebrow gel is a brow gel. Well, this one has a little something that is distinct to it, and with that you open it, and there's not a lot of product on the brush and. But if you want to set your eyebrows after pencil, it has just the right um, amount of product. I have not tried this on my lashes, except for the bottom lashes, and it just, it just, if you have like crazy hair, uh, crazy lashes that goes all direction, it's really nice because it just makes them look exactly like they do anyway, but they are nicely um, placed. So I love this mainly on the brows, but it's still nice on the lashes. It's just that I like to put black mascara. Um, this doesn't have a lot of product on the brush, and the brush is really um, combing like you. You there's a lot of um, bristles. It's not a spiraled around brush with a lot of goopy products. So this um, I will write the prices. Um, in America and Canada, like in the United States. Um, but this was five dollars, and although it's expensive, like expensive, if you compare it to the Essence, that is two dollars or something like that, um, it does work wonders. Um, and yeah, I would recommend. And another brow product is the Lovatic by Demi eyebrow liner. In dark brown, it says shape and grooms brows. Complete your eye look and get perfect brow definition like a star. This eyebrow pencil glide easily for a natural and defined look. A built-in brush enables you to groom and shape your brow. A long watercolor that does not smudge. So, really to make a difference? And gently draw a line into your eyebrows area to shape and define. I do like it. It, it is true, like, like they say, it's a easily glide on in a sense that is creamy like you put I did a line um, it is still a little bit dry because it is a brow pencil and the brush really um, makes the products well um, although it is a bit rough it just helps blending the products that are the product that is on your eyebrows I do like this and I would repurchase this and it always has to be sharpened all the time if not it looks like a it's sort of um, draw too thick um, but it's, um, it's really nice for even if you almost have no brows um, it just fills them up really nicely unfortunately this is not what I'm wearing today it is a nice I'm uh, just saying it's weird it says Suitable for content lens wearers, but you don't even put this on your eye, but anyway. This is one product that, this is one of the only product that I truly believe Demi Lovato might use. Because they all say, oh, she used this, well, I'm not sure for most of these, but for this one, yes, and it would be excellent with the Showtime um, Transparent Brow Mascara. Now, um, a product that it says she uses, but it, she said... It gives her the perfect um, wing. I didn't even, not, it didn't even get a line with this. It's the Develop with New York Makeup Artist Gel Intensity Big Bold Eyeliner in Leather Black. True Rich Color Gel Intensity Eyeliner. 
Make a bold statement with gel intensity. Get a high impact, full, a vibrant color payoff for your eyes. This eyeliner relies on smoothly and precisely for long lasting comfort. A retractable design lets you apply on the go. Great for creating any cat eye effect. So unfortunately, this did, maybe I got a bad one, but I don't really think. Um, this does not work the way they said it would because perfect glide, blah, blah, blah. Well, it does glow. It seems black, but I will show you with another liner that doesn't look that black. Um, it seems nice, like you, but it's not the blackest of the black. And I did try to put this on my waterline and it's nice that, by the way, that it twists to keep the gel in. But it does not, it does not set so what the problem that happened that is that I would get transfer on my in my crease because or in my round you know when my lid touches my eye um, and I try on the waterline it does not stay it lose a lot of intensity and it is not um, waterproof so it does not last at all and if you want to like it would be nice if you want to just Take it, smudge it maybe with your finger or a concealer brush and then put shadow on top. It would be nice as a smoky base, but on its own, I just don't feel like it's a nice product. As, as well as this, which is the, again, developed with New York makeup artists. I don't know who you picked for doing this product. I'm, I, I sound bitchy, but it just, I don't understand. It's, they're supposed to be like, oh, we made this with professionals. Well, okay. Um, Showtime Cold Cajol Intense Color. This ultra pigmented formula gives you the color intensity you crave in an easy stroke. That is true. Or cone shaped tip glides on effortlessly or and precisely to create a dramatic winged eye look. While our creamy soft texture is perfect to create a sultry. <laughs> I don't really get. Sorry for the dog. I don't really get a sentence because it says, while well, our eyeliner does this and they don't finish the sentence. Sorry. Layer shades to create endless look. I just have I have just seen one shade of these, so um, draw a smooth line along the edge of lashes from inner corner to outer corner to add drama. Repeat on the lower lash line. And there's a reason why I don't really do this is because this is even less long lasting than the big bold gel intensity, but. They do have it right uh, when they say they don't joke about pigmentation because this um, it, it, it pretty, basically looks like a liquid. Um, this is the Showtime Cold Gel and this is the Gel Intensity. This one is more, um, really m much more um, pigmented, but it doesn't set. So, same problem, it, it smudge a lot. Uh, even if it's just on the waterline, but even if you put it on your upper lash line, even set with powder, it transfers, so it's not pretty. Then the new, uh, I have three new mascaras from NYC. One that I've talked about um, in a recent video is the Lovatix by Demi mascara. It says volume and length mascara. Um, I won't talk much about the mascara because as you know on my channel I do a lot of mascara review but it has a cone shaped brush with um, natural bristles and I just want to mention I won this palette uh, but another one with the Demi Lovato signature and this mascara so I want this I wanted to say thank you to NYC Canada I know you might say well you're bashing their product but to be honest, I adore the Lovatix mascara and I'm so glad I have a backup. And now on to the other mascaras. Um, I haven't done a review on those, but I want to have a clearer idea. It's the Get It All All-in-One Mascara Volume Curl Length. And the mascara is just a regular uh, brush and to be honest, it is a basic mascara. I mean. It lengthens, it volumizes a little, it lifts a little, it defines, and that's it. Like, my lashes just look enhanced from what... 
from what I actually have right now. It's not the most amazing um, effect. Like, if you only want a mascara that will amplify what you already have as lashes, like, a little bit more length, a little bit more black, a little bit more definition, this will be it. But it, it won't give you, like, false lash um, looking lashes. Then, um, I only have two of the palettes because one as at the store was broken and I haven't seen the colorful one at the store. So, first is the Lovatis by Demi Natural Palette. Make your own natural star look with 12 exclusive nude shades. And there's a lot of um, tutorials coming on this, of course, with both of these. So, this is your basic shades. I will just swatch them for you. And surprisingly, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but I I had a long time ago some other um, NYC shades and they weren't the best in terms of pigmentation. Um, they were a little bit chalky, they didn't work really nice, so I saw, I, I just watched these and I knew that they're so much better, um, they, it's really a new formula and it shows, there are, they do kick off, kick off a lot of powder but I mean they're so blendable it's like no problem. So here they are with the Demil Vital tattoo, I'm sorry. But this is how they look, they're really blendable, shimmery and pigmented. There's a lot of gold tones that are natural but still like pack a punch. But yeah, it's super pigmented. I do truly like it. Um, but and Emily Noel said this in her review of this palette and said it's just basic shades. But this one, um, Night Out, has more olive and purpley tones, and it really makes it a um, I don't want to say special, but by the way, these shadows last all day um, with concealer or primer because I've tried some another brand of shadow and they don't last well when I only put concealer so this one I like um, the night out because I can create some naked three types looks with the more purple and pink tones but you can also create some green looks so I will just swatch it the shadows are so soft it's almost impossible to um, believe they're so cheap because this palette is like seven or eight dollars Canadian and also I want to mention there is a a stick foundation from them that I was really hesitant to try because um, their foundation has been the greatest with me so I just skipped on it but from what I heard it only lasts three hours so what's the point of wearing foundation if it only lasts so here you can see more of the shades um, Sorry, I'm not. I'm really far, but here you can see better. And I I removed the swatches, but they sort of I don't want to say stained, but they I didn't use makeup remover. So here are the shades of the Night Out palette. They're so gorgeous. NYC did an excellent job with their palette. Um, I if I find the other one, I will purchase them. Um, it's 100% certain because they did not joke when it comes to pigmentation and it's so hard to find a nice palette like I would have paid $20 uh, it was 30 30 dollars for these instead of um, 30 dollars for the L'Oreal the palette nude because yes L'Oreal the palette nude is 30 dollars here and it's kind of expensive because I don't like the shade much and they all blend and they really look much the same hey, uh, my shade is getting really dirty but um do Two last um, product or lip product. First, it's the NYC Showtime Lip Balm. And I was wondering, like, I, I went at Shoppers Drug Mart and it's more expensive than like Walmart. So you're like, oh, am I really picking this up at that price? But I had points and you know. But this is a lip balm, but I, I had some Showtime's lipstick a long time ago. I don't even know when they are. Um, and they were pigmented. But I was wondering if the lip balm is truly pigmented or just a moisturizing lipstick. And to be honest, this is what it looks like. It's almost nothing. And I'm glad I picked a dark shade. So I have a... If I want to do like a natural look, 
I have a a sort of reddish balm and they do moisturize so I guess they are lip balms but it's really sheer and then I saw the Get It All lip color um, they had some ombres one I believe or I don't know what they were but I picked up the red one because I really like red lips L uh, Get It All lipstick lip color so this one however although it's a little bit waxy compared to let's say a flower cosmetic um, a lipstick or something like that these come no joke this is one swipe they smell like sort of jelly beans or candy and it is super pigmented it does transfer onto things but it lasts a long time but, but I think it's because of that waxy sort of feel and both have a sort of glossy finish but I do like them a lot and I'm glad I picked red but there are other colors also so I'm um, sorry that was sort of that was long but not very informative um, that was my review on the new launches from NYC so you know what we do when we have a negative review we bring in the cuteness thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys